Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for Hacking Fever. Today I'll be continuing the Game Maker series, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a platformer in Game Maker. And I'll be continuing from my old video, so please watch that first before watching this, that way I do not get a bunch of comments asking what to do. So after you've made uh, the basic game from my old video, you should uh, get something, have something like this. I had to redo the sprite so it looks a tiny bit different than my old video. That's why. Also, I'd like to introduce you to my friend again. His name is Funky Zite Mc, Mc Question Beater. Funky Zite Mc Question Beater. Yeah, he was the guy from the last video who said "Yippee you" or something like that. And then, um, he's gonna be asking questions along the way, so uh, hopefully you guys don't get confused. So what you should have is something that looks like this but with an up and down event be sure to delete those because I'm going to be changing them for this video for a platformer and what's a platformer? a platformer is like a side scroller but I will not be going into detail about the side scrolling part I'll just be showing how to use gravity and how to move around so also you want to delete your room that you made so that we can get a fresh start correct me if I'm wrong but this was the level wasn't it? yeah that was the level the rooms are all the levels in the game so you're going to want to create another room, and then you should get something that looks like this, maximize it, and then um, if you hold shift and drag it across, you'll be able to make multiple of the objects. So I'm just going to be making some ground here, a wall for testing, you'll know why I'm doing this later, and, and a platform. Then let's add the person in the air so that way it'll fall down, hopefully. So click that done so that way we can, as soon as we're done with the code, the coding part, we can start testing. So what we're going to want to do first is add a new event with a step event. What is a step event? A step event is like what you want to happen constantly, like constantly checking to do something, uh, checking for something. So just click the first option, step begin step is if you want it to do before everything else happens and end step if is if you want it to do after everything happens I'll go into detail in a different video if I have the time so you're gonna wanna go to control tab and let's put this to the center check empty and you're gonna wanna check if relative to one y is open and only uh, for only solid objects. What does this mean? This means it will check if um, it's pretty much checking if it's in the air because it will check if one pixel below it is open and if it is that means it will be in the air and you're going to want to set the gravity for that. So uh, set the gravity to the direction is 270 which is down don't ask me why and set the gravity to zero and a half does it matter what the gravity is set to? Um, the, the gra doesn't matter what the gravity is set to as long as it's not zero, or else you won't have any gravity. Because if it's zero, there won't be any gravity. Okay. And then also you're going to want to go to Control Tab and drag out the Else button. The Else button means is if it does not meet the old requirements, then you, uh, you'll want it to do something else. So let's have it so it pretty much just means if it is on the ground uh, we're gonna wanna set the gravity to 270 degrees I don't think this one matters that much because we're gonna be keeping the gravity at zero just put 270 degrees just to be safe Click OK and then uh, the vertical speed is pretty much how fast you're going up or down and we're gonna test that using this variable. Its code name variable is V speed. So V speed. And if the V speed value is bigger than 12, so that means if it's going faster than 12 pixels uh, in a step, there's your by default. Uh, there's 30 steps in one second. So if it's going that fast, then we're going to want to make sure it stays that fast. It doesn't go any faster. So just set the vertical speed with this arrow to 12. OK, so now we're going to want to add an event for the up key. So the key press, not keyboard, up. So what is a key press? 
Keep press means it'll only happen when you press it, and it won't stop when you let go. That's what the normal keyboard events are for, is to have it stop doing what it's doing when it's uh, let go. So we're going to want to uh, test again if y, one Y is open. We're going to test if it's not open this time. So this means if it is on the ground, while well, when you press up, so that way you can't be jumping in the air. Uh, we're going to want to set the vertical speed to negative 10. So that way it'll take it off in the air. Okay, so then we're going to have to add, that's what you need to do for the key press up. And then we're going to have a collision event with the wall. So we're going to set, when it collides with the wall, we're going to want it so, where's the vertical speed? We're going to want to set the vertical speed to zero. And if the vertical speed happens to be bigger than zero when they collide, that's what we're going to be testing right now. So let's get the vertical speed again. So it's V speed is larger than zero. Okay. And then you're going to want to move to move to contact your direction. So that way it doesn't go through it. In 270 degrees, negative one against solid objects. So this means you will land on it? Yes, that means you should uh, it'll land perfectly on the ground. Click OK. Let's test out this game. There's the loading. So it falls down, and there we go. Oh, the key press isn't going up. Let's see what's wrong with that. Okay, so on this key press up event, you're going to want to make sure when it checks empty. Sorry, this was my bad. But make sure it, the not box is unchecked. That was totally my bad. So I click OK. OK. Let's test this game out. And here's, well, it'll take us to the room that we set up before. This room. I'll stop when it hits that wall. And you can jump up and land on the ground. That's what happens when we hit the bottom. And it just stops. Wow, so you did all of that? Yeah, that's what we just did in this amount of time. So I might be making another video on how to make it so uh, you can have a large room where the screen will scroll uh, in your uh, level. But as for now, uh, this is all I'm doing. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Game Maker videos and other videos like this as well. And so I'm the. I hope you enjoyed these videos and come back to us soon.